It's at least, yeah, I, I will, uh, in the fourth way, there is this uh, knowledge. They are kind of, they explain from when we start being seekers to all the way that this uh, uh, real eye, the, the presence knows itself and becomes fully awake. Yeah, from here, from being confused, lost and seeking to that, there's this journey. And then they are, in the fourth way, they have clear stages of this journey. And they are, it starts with this magnetic center. Magnetic center is the part in us that is a seeker and is interested in higher knowledge and uh, teachings like all of you have had a magnetic center. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the first thing, that you are coming here and otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, not everybody have a magnetic center, just some people have a magnetic center to seek. Also now in terms of magnetic centers, they can be a weak magnetic center or immature magnetic center. So the idea with the magnetic center, like the, the seeking center in us, seeking part, if we use parts work, that you know, like if you read In Search of the Miraculous, you could see that Spensky was like, had a fucking strong magnetic center, like, and he was just like, oh man. So, so the stronger it is and the more mature and sophisticated it is, the better. And the purpose of the magnetic center is to bring you to a person, a group, a teaching, a book, something that will be helpful for you to become more awake. Ideally, to bring you to an organized place where there is organized, not just a book. Uh, usually, get this book and another book, and each book that we consume or YouTube video or groups, you're like, oh yeah, this is it, yeah, yeah, but mm, it's not quite it. And we keep strengthening it. Anyway, we ideally, we should be past this stage. Uh, the role of the magnetic center is to sniff the truth and to bring you closer to that. And once you sniffed it, the role of the magnetic center is to like, oh man, fuck, this is it. This is what I've been looking for. This is it. I must now stop seeking and I, I must start working. So if the, the magnetic center therefore needs to somehow die and transform itself in the another part which is the inner practitioner the the practitioners i'm working on myself in this context and if the magnetic center is not mature enough it can find jesus christ with the disciples and they will be like oh, i don't know man it's okay but uh, yeah this is nice but you know let me seek some more, go somewhere else. Uh, it doesn't, it keeps seeking and then it doesn't get to focus on something to go deep. Yeah, so that's the first stage. Okay, now let's assume you found, you found the fourth way, you found some teaching. This, 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 this knowledge, this, in what I'm surprised and impressed is that I verify that this applies across paths, even mm -hmm. if you are Buddhist. Buddhists, they don't talk about this, but the same process is, is happening. Uh, okay, now, first stage is that we are taught about, hey, man, you need to be present, observe yourself, observe this or that, all this stuff. And it develops in us what is called an observing eye. Like, a part of us is observing. Also, I mean, it's, it's kind of studying knowledge, and, but it's observing. Is doing the work a little bit, that's the thing. So what I want to say to you, Debbie, because you are probably most familiar with this stuff, this observing guy, Deputy Steward, Steward, these are stages of growth of our true self. They are not different things. They are stages of development of the same thing. It's almost like you have a little boy who is 14 year old. That's a deputy. That's the observing guy. 
and this boy is going to become a warrior and is going to become a prince and is going to become a king and is going to be a good king old king now that's the it that you know the boy was basically the self at the level of the observing eye and when he's become a good king now is he grew and it's at the stage of the master yeah okay same eye different stages same Basically, it's the stages of realization or power or of the presence of what of our true self. Okay, so they say that the first stage is the observing eye, and they, actually in the fourth way they have a diagram is that there are this circle and they all these many little eyes all over the place, and then there's just a small part that is the observing eye. So initially it's weak, and basically. We are able to, at that stage, we are able to observe a little bit, be present a little bit, do a little bit of work. But if there's any strong trigger or any change of situation or anything, then it goes out. It's like a, like a flame that is very weak. So its capacity to observe is limited. So the, the self at the level of observing eye is able to just know a little bit of the shit that's happening, but is not aware of a lot of it. Also, the observing eye stage, I observe some stuff, but then I'm identified with it often, and then I forget. It's weak. It falls asleep. Also, observing eye has not much power to do anything about it. It's like see the shit but I'm powerless over it yeah so this is one stage um, okay if one persists and is serious about it the idea is that this observing guy accumulates more power and more other parts more knowledge more thing and it goes to the stage of a deputy steward now these terms will make sense in the with the use of another fourth way metaphor which i think it's an eastern metaphor that when we are asleep our situation is akin to a, a house like a mansion uh, that the master is absent and then it's complete chaos chaos, chaos and uh, nobody's doing their job uh, the cook is doing this and then the maid is doing that and do this. so it's like a disarray so the house is a mess and each one of the servants becomes like a, in charge for a little bit it's like hey we are going to do this i got it we are going to go there and it's going to be okay it's going to be great <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. and then but that doesn't even up it goes out and another one comes takes another direction yeah so Deputy steward, deputy steward is like a, a part of us that is doing the work and is becoming, deputy steward now is able to be more aware. You see more of all our machine and our personality and yeah, is more aware, is a little stronger. It can undergo certain pressure, can deal with some react, reaction, something, it's more heat, it can you know, it's like a strong army from one angle, from a, a guerrilla, one guy becomes a little team, now becomes more organized, it's a little stronger squadron, deputy steward. However, what they say is that when there's something strong or something, falls asleep. He, he doesn't have enough power and also he still doesn't know everything that's happening, doesn't know. So that's the, another stage, but he has more ability to you know, it can deal with some negative emotion, not express this, you know, so it's a little stronger work. If this continues, it goes to a stage of a steward. Steward, you know, the old houses, the idea is that, okay, the master is not at home, but there is the steward, the steward who is in charge. He's in charge of the ship. Uh, and what? Or the mansion in this case. The mansion, yes. yeah. And it is actually knows everything and he's the ability to put some order now. Say, guys, this is a mess. We need to clean up the kitchen and you got to stay here and you got to stay here. 
and so the steward um, what they say is that the steward which is still like some kind of it's on the level of me you know me uh, I am a Mihai and I'm really dedicated to awakening and I'm really honest and sincere about it so it's like the level of inner practitioner it feels like it's a uh, individual they feel individual personal um, the steward is supposed to do the steward is there in order to prepare the house for the arrival of the master the idea is that if the the house the mansion is messy and shabby the master cannot come uh, so it's a preparation of so cleaning up the, the mind and the body and the center so there's a lot of work on now balancing centers becoming like this working obstacles so so basically the, the steward stage is actually this is the steward this is a result of years and dedicated effort and it's supposed to prepare the house for the arrival of the master uh, like from one angle, many teachings, there's this purification and doing all these things because otherwise we can't handle it. Basically, so much chaos and messy and our nervous system can't handle it. So we cannot sustain, even if there is conscious presence coming, it's like cannot stay too long. But the master, the, the, the steward is, is supposed to kind of know all the parts of the machine, it's kind of know what's happening and it's, it falls asleep, yeah, it still falls asleep, but it continues the direction and it's kind of has ability to keep some order, That's you know, number, what? Eight, four. Yeah, so that, I mean, okay, let, let's, let's, let's bookmark this. Um, now, if the steward is strong, very strong, like a mature, uh, person who worked on themselves a lot within with a good teaching and, you know because there are many people out there are very sincere and genuine and whatever but they don't have good teaching so they, you know, it doesn't go very far um, anyway a steward like that now already the machine is more balanced and and it plugged a lot of the leaks plugged leaks and it doesn't doesn't allow us to go too far into a stray yeah there so when the situation is like that somehow the master shows up unexpectedly <laughs> I'm, I'm using words it comes like so it's like presence yeah presence like whoa and and then it flickers out but then even when presence flickers out then there's this part of us that is like hey i know what i need to do and this and that and that you know so it starts to be in, in, happen they coincide. There's the steward, strong, strong, and the master comes and then goes and master comes and goes. The idea is as this happens more and more, the, the, the steward, when the master comes, the steward needs to be passive, not to keep working. To, to stop all that he's doing because he doesn't need, he's just or it can do the will of the master but there's so this yeah so yeah i mean there was a stage where let's say you started a lot of the teachings and all of that and then you meditate and then you know this is a little bit of presence but then all this comes oh yeah this and this and that it's almost like it's a uh, overburdened by the teachings and it keeps spinning these teachings and this and that and like and, and then it's like god dude just fucking stop you know yeah, yeah so it's Debbie, are you hearing it <laughs> yeah but it this happens you know you, you need yeah. the steward it, it happens like because the steward, you could think that you have an awakening, right? Right. But, yeah. yeah. One is more awake and one is more conscious and one has put order and one has done a lot of work. Right. And Doing one is work. one is not a regular asleep person and yet one is not a awake uh, person. And in the, in the fourth way, they have, I don't know, some stages, they have some numbers. Mm -hmm. um, but 
the thing is that that's all the time that which is aware whether it's it's just awareness is aware so these are all stages of development of our being 